it's Yay for Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a flat circle into a bird applique. So let's get started. Well, it is spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, so today I thought I'd show you a little craft to make a flat circle like this, made on the Addy Pro knitting machine, into a bird. So all I have here is a flat circle. I have a few little pieces of felt that I've cut out. Um, this right here is the wing. It's kind of just a bent teardrop shape. I have a triangle for the beak, and I have two little circles for the eyes, a white circle and a black circle. And I just drew my wing shape on a piece of cardboard and cut it out, and then I cut around it to cut out the wing. And all of these are made of the type of felt that they sell now in craft stores that's made of recycled plastic bottles. So I also have a hand sewing needle and some sewing thread. So I'm going to start by attaching the eye. And first I'm going to attach the white part of the eye with some white thread. And I like to run my thread through a cake of beeswax to help keep it from tangling and knotting and sticking together. So I'm just going to sew the little white felt circle onto my flat circle right about there. And one thing that you want to note when you're sewing into knitted fabric, particularly um, fabric that is knitted from um, larger gauge yarn, such as worsted or even, you know, even smaller gauge yarns, you can't really just tie a knot in the end of your thread and expect it to not pull through the fabric. So what I like to do is come up from behind and just leave a tail in the back. And then when I get back around to the other side, um, to the beginning of my seam, I will go ahead and tie that together with the rest of my, with, with the thread that's on my needle. So I'm just sewing this on with a running stitch, which is just an up and down stitch. I'm coming up through the fabric, like so, and then going back down a little further over. And I'm going all the way around the edge of this little felt circle. So I've got about one stitch left. I'm going to make my stitch. And as long as your stitches are pretty even, then they won't be real noticeable. And I'm gonna take the tail from the thread from the beginning and tie it together with the thread on my needle. And that's going to secure both ends of that seam. Because if we just tied a knot in the thread and started sewing, the, the knot would go right through the fabric and it would not hold. So I've tied that through several times and I'm just going to bury the tail in between the layers of the flat circle. And the same thing with this tail. like so. So there's the first part of the eye, and as you can see right here, my thread got caught in the um, upper layer. So I'm just going to reach my needle in there and just pull it underneath that top layer of fabric. And now you can't see it anymore. So now I'm going to get some black thread, and I'm going to wax this thread as well. And now I'm going to sew on this little black circle for the, the rest of the eye. And um, just play around with how you position it because the way that you position this little circle in the eye can determine how, you know, which direction your bird is looking. It can be looking up or forward or down or backwards, whatever. And I like mine right about there. So I'm going to hold on to it pretty good. I'm going to come up from the back 
and I'm going to stitch this on in the same manner with little tiny stitches. All right, so I've made it all the way around and I'm just going to secure my thread by tying it in a knot with the original thread tail. And then I'll bury it as well. So for the moment, I'm just gonna bury the thread that's coming off of my needle as I'm going to attach the wing next, which is also black, and I'm not going to unthread my needle to bury the other tail, but I will bury it later on. So there's the eye. We'll take care of that one later. And now we're gonna position the wing. So this is about how I want my bird rotated. So that is about where I'm going to put, put the wing, right there. And I like to have a little bit of it just barely extending off, but I want it to be able to um, be attached. So I'm just going to keep the tip of it just along the outside edge of that so that it can be stitched down. And I'm going to stitch this down in the same manner. I'm going to come up wherever I find a good spot. And I think I'm going to start down here at the corner and leave a tail in the back. And I'm just going to stitch it down with a running stitch all the way around. Alrighty. I am just about all the way around back to the tip of the wing and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot but I'm also going to go back and stitch again around the inside just to uh, add more dimension to it give it a little bit more detail so first I'm going to slip the thread back in between, come out right about there. I want to be um, halfway between this edge and this edge, wherever I come out. And then the distance I am from both of these edges is going to be where I, that's going to be how far away I follow from the edge. So I'm going to kind of echo the stitching I just did by stitching around a second time, you know, an even distance in from the previous row of stitching. All right, so I've made it pretty much all the way back around to the tip of my little echo outline. So I'm just going to tie that off and bury the tail. And tie it off because I had to um, stop and uh, add new thread because my thread was too short to get all the way around, I cut my thread, I tied it off, and buried it. And to do that, I just picked up a strand of yarn on the back, wrapped the thread around the needle a couple times, and tied off like that. And then I just buried the thread between the layers and to start a new section of thread where my other one left off, I just started stitching and I took one stitch up and one stitch down, tied my thread on the needle together with the tail, and then I just kept going. And then I'm going to go ahead and bury all the rest of these black threads because I'm done with the black thread for now. All right, all my threads are buried. So now all that's left to attach is the little beak and I'm going to put it right there. So now I have some yellow thread that matches my felt pretty closely, and I'm going to stitch the beak down in the same manner that I've done everything else. Just come up and leave a tail in the back, stitch all the way around, and then I will tie the tail off with the thread on my needle. 
when I get to the to the beginning um, back to where I started all right so I'm back around to the beginning I'm just gonna tie off with the tail that I started with and I'm just gonna bury these two tails all right, so now you have a cute little bird applique that can be sewn on to anything that you would like to put it on. And all it took was a flat circle and a few little scraps of felt. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you give this project a try, please let me know in the comments below how it turns out for you. And don't forget to subscribe, making sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching, bye.